Welcome everybody to the afternoon sessions of day two of Love Data Week. Uh, you're all very welcome and especially a warm welcome to Rhoda who is going to talk to us about Ireland's Open Data Initiative, a subject close to my heart actually. And um, without further ado, I'm going to hand over to you Rhoda. Thank you. Thanks Fiona uh, and thanks to the library team there in Maynooth for uh, inviting me to talk to you today. Um, I'm going to talk to you about Ireland's Open Data Initiative and how we are opening up government data for reuse. Um, my name is Rhoda Kearns and I'm head of the Open Data Unit in the Department of Public Expenditure and Reform. So the concept of open data is about making data held by public bodies available and easily accessible online for reuse and redistribution. And in the Open Data Unit, we encourage public bodies to publish their data in free and open formats. And we promote the reuse of data through the National Open Data Portal. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what is open data and why is it important? Is it just another EU nice to have? What is it used for? What relevance does it have to you? A piece, so a piece of data is considered open if anybody can access it freely. It is free to use, modify or share for any purpose. Open government data can, can be reused and can have major benefits for citizens, businesses and society and for government itself. So lots of us, when we get up in the morning, we will check our phones to see what the weather is doing. Um, what it's going to be like, if we can chance it without an umbrella. Um, if it's going to be cold, do you need a jacket or a hat and a scarf and a rain jacket maybe as well? Um, so is it going to be raining when you're out later? So again, this is all available. Um, I use myself, I, I use the uh, MetAaron app myself and uh, I find it's extremely accurate for uh, local weather uh, forecasting. Uh, during the summer, you, if you got a chance to go to the seaside, uh, you will have looked up beaches near you, looked for blue flag beaches, check the fastest route. Are there any delays? Maybe check the water quality, particularly around Dublin, given the water quality issues um, over last summer. At the weekend, you might want to go for a walk, uh, maybe a hike. You might check out the nearest parks and trails, see the length of them, what the terrain is, where you can park nearby. Uh, and if we look at how COVID has familiarised us all with statistics, uh, having the data and the information open provided complete transparency and allowed people to interrogate it, check the number of cases in their area, the infection rates, compare the data to other counties or even countries and analyse it and look for trends. So this is all open data in action. The uh, open data is not just obviously an Irish uh, concept, it's international, it's worldwide. And in the EU, uh, the Open Data Directive has been introduced and came into force in Ireland on July 22nd last year. And the aim of the directive is to increase the availability of open government data across the EU. And the concept is about making non-personal information held by public bodies available and easily accessible on online. The principle of the data is that data should be considered open by default, unless of course it's personal or sensitive data, and that systems design must build in open data by default at the outset. So if we consider for a moment the vast amounts of data that government hold, such as geospatial data, traffic data, meteorological data, economic and financial data, statistics, health, educational, agricultural, and everything in between. And making this data openly available by default for reuse can facilitate genuine improvements for society, such as new businesses, which can be built on the back of this data. Data is really seen as an essential raw material for a lot of uh, new products and services. It facilitates transparency so it's a powerful instrument to increase transparency in public administrations, improving the visibility of previously inaccessible 
of information, which informs citizens and businesses about policies and public spending. And of course, open data can be used by um, by governments themselves for evidence-based policy making and making sure that solid uh, data is used at all levels in government, ensuring um, better public services. And so the directive introduces an obligation on public bodies to release government data in open formats and to open standards. It places an emphasis on data in real time and via APIs. Um, it, it, what this means in practice for uh, the ordinary citizen is that you can request data from, gov from uh, public bodies and there is a request regime put in place which is detailed on uh, data.gov.ie. So the overall principle, as I said, of the directive is that data is to be considered open by default. And so that means that systems must be designed to build in open data at the outset. And in Ireland, we're recognised as a, a leader in open data in Europe. And our journey would have began in 2014. Um, and as you can see there, our Ireland was placed 20th in Europe in 2015, so we were quite a bit behind in, 2004, in 2015. But in 2016, we jumped up to uh, third in Europe and we have maintained a leading role in open data each year since then. So how have we achieved this success and how did we go from a standstill position in 2014 to be first in Europe for three years running. So a number of uh, pillars, as I call them, are put in place. The first, of course, was the uh, our open data portal, data.gov.ie, which is recognised as one of the top portals in Europe. Uh, we, I'm going to talk about that in a minute, uh, just uh, bear with me. And um, we also put in place an open data data strategy which had specific actions for public bodies and also very importantly established standards for the publication of data to the open data portal. The open data governance board which underpinned good governance of the uh, open data initiative uh, was established in 2014 and this oversees the implementation of the open data strategy and the development of open data in Ireland. Oops, sorry, just go back. So our open data portal, as I've mentioned, is recognised as one of the top portals in Europe. It is a single repository for open data uh, from the public service in Ireland. And from small beginnings, uh, it started off with uh, just under a thousand data sets in 2015 um, and has now grown to over 13,000 data sets from a wide range of public bodies. There, as you can see there, there are over 150 public bodies uh, publishing data uh, and these include large data holders like uh, Central Statistics Office, Revenue Ordnance Survey, Transport Ireland, MetAaron, local authorities, Tusla and a broad range of uh, public bodies. So data is uh, published to the portal uh, through uh, adhering to uh, a set of publication guidelines and these set out the standards and the formats for data to be, pub to be uh, held on the portal and published through the portal. The data, the majority of the data on the portal is um, licensed under uh, the CC by 4.0 license and this allows unrestricted use of data including for commercial purposes and as I've mentioned a key element of the open data directive is the availability of real-time data and 50% and, and tr data through APIs and 57% of the data on the portal is accessible via APIs. There's a number of facilities on the portal which um, allow easy access to the data 
um, you can see there the data is categorized into a number of 14 different categories which facilitate easy access to the data. Uh, there are search facilities. You can search via the data sets. You can search by, via publishers. Um, and um, really, it's just a matter of delving in and having a look at, at the data on the portal. Um, I would encourage us to do that. Uh, we have to, I suppose, communicate the um, the data and how the data can be used. We have another number of impact stories. Um, we have a developers corner as well, uh, which provides some tools for developers to uh, use the data and how to use it. And we also have a number of showcases provided on the portal, which I will just show you one of them now. You can see our beaches.ie there, which um, shows all the lovely beaches that are available around the country. Um, but the showcases are a very important element and they demonstrate good reuse of the data. And a number of these uh, showcases would have received funding under the Open Data Engagement Fund, which I'll speak about shortly. And the show, as I said, the showcases can help communicate the importance of open data and how it can be used um, in innovative solutions. And if you're interested or you have an interesting use case which you would like perhaps to showcase on the portal, we are happy uh, to look at any um, projects that people have or um, visualizations, um, anything you have that you think would make it is, is a good use of open data. And again, they can be submitted uh, through the portal if you go to the showcases tab. A really uh, large body of the work that we do in, in the Open Data Unit is to engage people with the data uh, that's available on data.gov.ie. An example of this is a project that was undertaken uh, by the Open Data Governance Board uh, with the idea of engaging the general citizen in open data. And uh, so this is aimed at health and well-being data. It's an EU funded project and uh, it uses sources from uh, multiple open data sources, including local authorities, um, health data, um, and you will find all sorts of information. And the idea being is that it will provide uh, an easy access or a one-stop shop for health and wellbeing data for the Irish citizen um, to access information on any uh, healthy activities like sports or parks, or um, health um, health uh, units uh, within their within their area, um, and the project is is managed by ourselves in the Open Data Unit um, in a public expenditure and reform, and uh, our partners are the Central Statistics Office, the Department of Health, Fingal County Council, Derrylinks, and Ireland's Open Data Cloud Cluster. Part of the project is a knowledge base on health and well-being data which is very much focused on low data and it it provides you and i'd encourage you to go and actually explore it um, the link is provided there and you can check out what data is might be available in your area thank you i've mentioned the engagement fund and um so this is an initiative again of the uh, governance board and it's a competitive fund designed to provide support towards promoting the use of open data on the portal. And applications can be made for funding to support a variety of data related activities. And these include the organization of outreach and engagement activities, such as seminars maybe, or hackathons. Uh, applications or development of visualizations to demonstrate how data can be used and um, or research activities um, to demonstrate the impact of open data or um, which might create help create efficiencies in the public service or assist um, with government decision making. Now applications for the fund open in August they normally run from August through to uh, October um, so there are no applications open at the minute, but you can check out where um, you can check out the types of applications that have received funding um, previously. And these are an example of a number of the projects that have received funding 
for the in 2021. Um, and these were assessed by subgroup of the Open Data Governance Board. And you can see a wide variety of projects are supported and a total of seven received funding under the engagement fund. So there's projects there from um, uh, utilizing citizen generated data to create a heritage database, a hackathon on the future of transport, and a really innovative uh, use of uh, open data to create artwork that showcases how land is being allocated and used across the country. So you can see that um, the, we are interested in really uh, innovative ways to use the data um, and uh, so we're not really just looking for a uh, representative of data in tablets and charts, but we'd like you uh, to surprise us in how you use the data if you're making an application under the fund. If you are making an application, just uh, make sure you're very clear on the data that you are using from the portal. Um, uh, be clear in your description and uh, what the funding is required, so what your costs and allocations. Uh, might be uh, under the fund. Uh, just as clear a picture as you can give on what you're doing is uh, will really help any application you might have under the fund. So um, uh, thank you very much for uh, for your attention this afternoon. And if you have any questions, you can please uh, forward them to um, Open Data. So I just go back, put that slide up. Um, you can forward them to open data at per.gov.ie. And um, there's a number of useful links there which you might uh, like to uh, explore. Uh, thank you very much.